In this video, we'll go over using the coordinate system indicators in a plan file and in camera views. These indicators will show the orientation of the coordinate system to help better understand where our drawing is in relation to the plan and other objects in the plan. By default, the floating axis indicators should be enabled in our plan views, cross sections, and other camera views. The quickest way to turn these indicators on or off is through the view menu. Click View, and we'll see that we have toggles for the floating, fixed, and origin indicators. Let's click on the floating indicator. Now, in the lower left corner, we'll see a little indicator showing which direction the coordinates go in. X going left and right, and Y going up and down based on our current orientation. If we rotate our plan view, we can see this indicator rotate along with the plan. As an example, if we go into the Tools menu, click on Rotate Plan View, and set the rotation to some new value, we'll see the indicator rotate along with the plan. If we go into an Elevation Camera View, and once more go to View, and click the Floating Indicator Toggle, we'll see the indicator is now showing the X-axis going left and right, and the Z-axis going up and down. And if we take a full 3D camera view and toggle the indicator, as we rotate the camera around, we can see the axes move in accordance with how we move the camera, so we always know how our plan is oriented. There are also the fixed axes indicators. If we go back to our plan view and use view to toggle these on, we'll see X and Y indicators that start at the plan's origin point and extend to the edges of the viewport. And, like the floating indicator, we can go into an elevation view or a 3D camera view and toggle these on. The fixed indicator doesn't extend to the edges of the viewport in a 3D camera, but will show a fixed indicator of all three axes resting at the origin point. The origin of our plan is the center where all three axes meet at 0, 0, 0. If we want the origin of our plan indicated but don't want the fixed axis indicators, we have a separate toggle for that. In the View menu, let's toggle off the fixed indicators and toggle on the origin indicator. This will put a marker at the 0, 0 mark in Floor Plan, Cross Section, or in 3D camera views. To modify the settings for these indicators, we'll want to go to the Edit menu and down to Preferences. If you're on a Mac computer, you'll need to click the Chief Architect menu to find Preferences. In Preferences, we'll go down to the Coordinate System option under the Edit section, and when we click it, We'll see the options for whether these indicators are toggled on or off by default in different kinds of views, along with their display settings. For example, we can toggle on the floating axis indicator for orthographic and perspective views, and if we want it to appear larger, we can increase the line length and label height to make it more apparent. We can also edit our origin indicator if we want. For example, if we want to make it stand out more, we can change its color, and we can bring its draw order to the front, and, making sure it's checked on in our plan view, we can click OK. Now, in our plan views, we should see the origin indicator appearing on top of other objects, and if we go back into a 3D camera view, our floating axis indicator will appear noticeably larger. 